Hey everybody, this is Randy McMullen with Amstar Mortgage. I hope your day's off to a good start. One of the questions I get, probably the most common question that I get is, should I prepay my mortgage? It's a common question I get, and there are a lot of scenarios that you want to consider. It may depend on your age, thinking about retirement. You may be thinking about being younger, maybe just building up equity in your house. A couple different considerations, but I want to give you a little bit of an overview to kind of help you. So if you own a house, you need to watch this video. You need to pay attention here. We're going to look at equity versus liquidity, and we're going to look at return on investment. That's what people want to know. Where's the best way for me to put my money in my house and get the best return? So I took a really simple situation. I took a $350,000 loan at 3.25%. Now your rate's going to vary a little bit, but this will just give you an idea on a 30 year term. And the principal and interest on that is $1,523 a month. Now, what if you added $400 a month to your payment? Your balance in 20 years would be all the way down from $350 to $20,907. You would have almost paid for your house in about 20 years, and you would have paid interest during that time of $132,537. Now, what would it look like if you took the same $400 a month and you invested it into an account? And let's just say you make an average of 6.5%, not 10 or 12, just a normal average 6.5% return on your money. So if you invest $400 at 6.5%, your asset in 20 years would be worth $190,390. Now, what I did was I took that times 0.85 because right now the long term capital gains, if you make under about $450,000 a year, is 15%. So if you had 190, you paid your taxes on it, you would end up with 161,831. But check this out. Your mortgage balance in 20 years would be 155,877. So if you put it in your mortgage at 400, you'll have a 20,000, almost a $21,000 balance in 20 years. If you invest it at just 6.5% for 20 years, you could completely pay off your mortgage and really have six or seven thousand dollars left over. So you come out about twenty-seven, twenty-eight thousand dollars ahead. Now, if you get a better than six and a half return, then obviously that number gets even better. But there's another factor that a lot of people don't think about. You paid one hundred thirty-two thousand in interest here. Here you paid more interest. You paid one hundred seventy-one thousand. So on top of the better financial part, you're also going to get a bigger tax break during that 20 year period. So you're gonna get a better return on investment. And here's the big thing I like, equity versus liquidity. So here, all your money is tied up in your house. If you ever needed to get that money out, here's the irony. You'll call me, you'll say, Randy, I gotta get money out of my house. Can I do a cash out refinance? Which we can do for you, but here's the thing. You're going to pay attorney fees administration fees, Georgia tangible tax, Georgia transfer tax, and appraisal. In other words, you're going to pay a couple thousand dollars to get your money back out of your house. And then here's where it gets even better. You're going to pay interest on your money that you're borrowing. So think about that for a second. If you've got it over here in an investment account and you need to take $50,000 out for an investment opportunity or buy a car, or whatever it is, you just go to your account, you hit sell, that money's in your account the next day. Nobody has to approve you. You're not paying interest on that money. It's much more liquid. So you're going to get much better liquidity by putting your money outside of your mortgage. So I hope this was helpful. This is Randy McMullen with Amstar Mortgage. If you have any questions, please give me a call. Have a great day.